Good morning everyone, Clayton Biker Cowboy here. Um, I just picked up this police bike I talked about it on my last video, so I just kind of wanted to do a quick walk around on it um, before I start modifying stuff. So believe it or not, it has made it 12 hours in the Biker Cowboy garage and not been modified. Um, seems like a solid bike, definitely very different than what I'm used to. Uh, this thing's going to change a lot, so it's an 09. FLHTP police bike. Um, it does have a 103 with the high output cam from the factory. Um, 09 was the first year of that in the police bikes. So um, it's pretty clean. Got almost 19,000 miles on the clock. Um, interesting stuff. So I'm learning about these police bikes. Uh, really never paid much attention to them unless they were trying to give me a ticket. Um, Anyway, so ABS was standard on this, which is good on slippery roads. Uh, I may have to find out where the fuse is and disable it sometimes. Um, just kind of taking a walk around. You obviously have the police colors. These are some stickers somebody put on here. Those will be coming off. Um, you've got the police bag top. So these are specific to police bikes. If you guys follow PDX Dyna Bagger, this is what he's running on his Dyna. But they call them the hockey puck style bags. You open that. And boom, you're in and out of your bag. Real easy like. Um, this seat is a really interesting thing. So I did not know this is an air ride seat. So this was also specific to the police models. You can see you got a plastic pan running down here underneath it. This right here, I hope you guys can see, is actually an air shock. So if I back up a little and I push on this thing, you can see it moves. Follow the airline back and here under the tour pack mount is actually a tank with a pressure gauge and a nice uh, um, wire nut somebody put on as a cap. So that's cool. Uh, it had no air in it. So I aired it up to 20 pounds using the, the small Harley Davidson pump. So I don't blow anything out. Um, it's comfortable, but probably the worst seating position I've ever felt. Um, if you don't have a ton of air in it, you're super far back your butt lands all the way back here and even at 511 i can barely reach these controls so um i think i'm gonna get a street glide seat or something different real soon um so that'll be up for sale kind of cool design though um it is super duper tall as well so getting your feet on the ground um like i said i'm 511 34 inch inseam and i can just barely reach the ground you know just barely flat foot it so um, anyways, that's pretty cool. If you look up here on the handlebars, you got a radio delete. Uh, probably going to go with a riser and bar, T-bar style setup. So they're going to come through there into a moto bar up here. Um, these controls are weird. So you've got your horn and then your sirens on the back side of it. Of course, all this stuff's dis disconnected on and off for your horn. High and low beams usual. Um, had somebody cut me off yesterday and I was trying to mash the horn and didn't realize it's down here. That'll take some getting used to. Uh, on this side here, on off run, turn signal. And then this is your pursuit button and it is actually hooked to the auxiliary lamps up front. So if I turn this to the on position and I push this over, you can see this bright red pursuit light. Um, I don't know what the hell all that means, but uh, I guess it's a good way to know when your fog lights are on. So, uh, yeah, that's what we got right now. Uh, rear floorboards are going away. Those are one of my biggest pet peeves. Uh, a lot of this bike's going to be up for sale. So if any of you guys are interested in fenders, uh, I'm probably going to do front and rear fender. These police bags may or may not stay. They're kind of cool. Just depends if somebody really wants them. I would probably swap them for uh, 14 and up bags. This tour pack on here obviously is not factory, but if you look at it, it's got the cool snakeskin print. So this has to be somewhere probably around a 2011, came off a CVO. Um, anyways, it works. It's got the keys to it, it locks. Once I get a regular tour pack, that'll be up for sale as well. Um, so like I said, I just kind of wanted to give you a short video of this bike. Took it for a little ride. 
Um, the tires were low. It's been sitting for about nine months. Got a little oil leak. These transmission bolts back out. I guess that's a big problem. Um, so it was leaking oil all over the exhaust and stinking a lot. And uh, thank you to Paradise Harley. A couple of the techs gave me some pointers and lent me a wrench. And this bolt right here was the only one that wasn't finger loose on the tranny cassette. So I tightened all those down and uh, the leak seems to have subsided. I do have a new gasket I'll probably put on uh, when I get time. Um, yeah, so my hope is to build this bike to go on a cross country trip with my old man next summer and uh, do some wheelies and smash some corners along the way. You know, it's just really makes me appreciate my sports or sport and uh, appreciate a bike that's set up for you. So anyways, uh, stock bars are stock bars. They're going away. Seat, all that stuff. So I'm probably going to start tearing stuff off of this in about five minutes here. I'm going to probably get this seat pan and all that air stuff off. Probably pull the bumper off the front. I want to go with some LED lights up here. Uh, I know there's some out that have halo turn signals in the fog lights and I could delete these. Um, so we'll just kind of see uh, where it goes. Oh yeah, you got a uh, bigger charger charging system on the police bike. You can see the oil cooler right down there, which is cool. Can never get too much heat out of one of these Harley motors. Um, so anyways, that is the new project. Um, I look forward to uh, all your guys input and following throughout this build so you all have a great week and we'll be back soon biker cowboy out <laughs>